Well, I'm James, Jim Pru, uh, and this is my wife, Frances. And I worked for the city of Milwaukee for over 30 years. and uh, Lifelong residents of the city of Milwaukee, and we love it here. And that's why it is so important to put that positive faith on the city of Milwaukee, and the Milwaukee Symphony is the one thing that does that. Growing up at home, I had a uh, father who was an amateur violinist. It, he did it strictly for pleasure, never played in any groups or anything, but we did have some classical music albums in our home, albeit they were 78 RPM records on a 78 only record player and some of them were getting pretty worn out. Uh, we did go to symphony concerts. Uh, I, I couldn't give you the year, but certainly it was under Harry John Brown in the, uh, probably the very early 60s. A lot of times, and I have to say, it was because of the generosity of a, of a business that our family, one of members of our family worked for, that had season tickets, and oftentimes uh, we were able to go to the concerts. This was when they were at the Paps Theater. So I do remember seeing some concerts there, and I was really impressed. It continued to uh, further my interest in attending these concerts. So years later, when it got to a point where uh, those tickets were not available anymore, at least when we started buying them on our own. And we were appreciative of it and began even doing as, as we could, do a little bit extra to support them. So we were very, always very pleased with the orchestra, and certainly the level they've attained in recent years has been just uh, makes our city very proud. And my introduction was when I married Jim. He had the classical music background. I, um, when I was a kid, I listened mostly to show tunes and more popular music and didn't know much about classical music until we started going to the concerts and opened my eyes and kind of showed me how to relax with beautiful music. And uh, that was my introduction. I can first remember when I think of a, a, an orchestra seat was probably five dollars. Uh, you know, you need more money to back that up, and certainly they depend. You know, any uh, organization, especially an arts organization, depends on people to support them over and above the cost of the tickets. So we've been able to do within our within our means to support them, and we're happy to do that. It's probably. Uh, you know, one of, the, one of the few extra things that we can do, and we do want to support them as long as we can. Well, the one thing that we have an appreciation for are the pre-concert talks, because um, sometimes, now Jim knows a lot about the music that we're going to listen to. I don't, and when I get there and I hear the history behind the piece, it really enhances the performance for me. So I hope that type of thing continues. No, we've gone to a couple of the presentations at Colectivo Coffee Shops, which, which have been very, uh, very enjoyable, and, and certainly, uh, and again, they're to totally different. You have to really meet the musicians uh, and see what they're like. You know, you think of uh, that, that they are people like all of us are. You know, that they have, uh, that they can have fun uh, with what they do and enjoy what they do, and it's uh, again, it's just a very useful thing to, a very enjoyable thing to, to take part in. We are looking forward to Beethoven's Ninth again. Uh, we've seen it in the past, and what a fantastic way to highlight both the symphony orchestra and the chorus. Um, when they get together, it it's just blows your mind. It's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it places the city uh, you know, high in the rank of uh, what they offer to their citizens. Uh, you know, you need something other than just a place to live and a place to work. You know, you do need other offerings in a cultural way, our universities. These are all very good things and, and rank your city then very favorably against other large metropolitan cities, not only of our country, but in the world. We are becoming known not just as a place that used to make a lot of beer. Well, still makes a lot of beer, but not as much as we used to. <laughs> we will continue to subscribe and continue to support the symphony mm -hmm. for as long as we can because it is such um, an enhancement to our life. It's, it's something that is very special to us.